that became part of the NYPD family. Every police officer that lined these streets today with sadness in their eyes to show respect as we carry two hero police officers out of this hospital. We will shoulder the burden for these families each and every day for the rest of their lives. Generations of police officers will know their names and hold them close to their hearts and educate our children about the sacrifice they made. There's blood on many hands tonight. Those that incited violence on the street under the guise of protest that tried to tear down what New York City police officers did every day. We tried to warn, it must not go on, it cannot be tolerated. That blood on the hands starts on the steps of City Hall in the office of the mayor. Starting today, we started the morning for our brother police officers. They're heroes, they're fathers, they're brothers, they're children. That's the men we lost today. So starting in the next couple of hours and going for a number of days, New York City police officers, through their sadness, will straighten their shoulders, stiffen their backs, and mourn for these families. We'll mourn for our city and we'll mourn for our brothers. When these funerals are over, those responsible will be called on the carpet and held accountable. We ask every person in the city to bow their heads tonight and pray for our families, the families of our lost police officers, their families, and the family of every police officer on patrol today who's in danger. This was a cold-blooded assassination like we haven't seen before. So as I said, we'll straighten our shoulders, we'll stiffen our backs, and we'll wipe our tears. But when these funerals are over, we'll raise our heads, and those that allowed this to go on will be held accountable.